Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Claudia, and I'm going to be with you in the session of the Heart of Reconciliation. For this session, we're going to need paper, scissors, and markers, and, um, and just have those ready, okay? But before we do our activity, I want to go ahead and talk about a couple of just uh, three topics with you about what is the Sacrament of Reconciliation and what is the Examination of Conscience and what is our goal, okay? So the Sacrament of Reconciliation, as you guys were learning uh, during the year, is the time where we go receive the forgiveness uh, from God to be able to fix our relationship with himself, our community, and even ourselves, okay? But as you guys are going through this at the very first time, you might be asking yourself, well, what do I have to tell the priests, right? So this leads us to the examination of conscience. The examination of conscience, boys and girls, is basically where we take a moment to ourselves and we reflect our, the things that we've done and that we should have done, okay? So what does that mean? So, for example, we look into um, have we been honest with ourselves, right? Do we tell lies to our parents? Do we blame our siblings for things that we did? Um, you know, do we fight with our siblings? Do we fight with our friends? Do we hurt our relationships with our friends, right? Are we mean? Do we bully each other? So those are a couple of questions that you all should be asking yourselves as you do the examination of conscience, right? And when you start saying, okay, yes, um, I'm not, I have told a lie. Um, I do tell, uh, I do in front of my sibling. Um, I don't listen to mom and dad, right? I, you know, like when I was growing up, one of them was I sometimes would complain to go to, I would go to church, right? Because when you're little, it's so long. So, but I would always complain like, no, I don't want to go. That right there, boys and girls, that, that I, I shouldn't have complained about it. Those are type of little sins that we need to go ahead and tell the priest that we do those type of things, right? Because what is our goal, boys and girls? Our goal is to receive forgiveness and to and strengthen our relationship with God, our community, and ourselves, okay? So as we finish discussing that, we're going to go ahead and go on to our activity. Our activity, you're going to fold the paper in half, right? You're going to just fold this paper, and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to go ahead and use the scissors and you're going to cut it into a heart, okay? The heart, boys and girls, should be big enough where you can write or draw the questions or your examination of conscience, okay? So I'm going to walk you through, you know, give you an idea about what kind of questions you should ask yourselves. And these are just sample questions. Parents, please feel free to um, help your child with that activity and also do one for yourselves if you feel like. Um, but these are just a couple of questions that I always ask my kids, my students, to ask themselves, right? Because this is just, an, this is just to start, okay? You know, one of the questions is, do I go to church without complaining? Do I tell lies? Do I admit when I'm wrong, right? Do, are we honest with ourselves when we do things that are wrong, okay? Do I, um, do I help others, including those who have nothing, right? Like I said, do you help in those canned good drives? Do your family do their own? Um, they start looking through their closets and toys, and they say, you know, we're going to give this to... Um, the uh to the candle lighters to uh saint jude um so those are the type of things that you ask yourselves right do you say thank you when you receive it and truly mean it okay so um <clears throat> so those are type of questions that you guys can ask yourselves and you guys can draw you know the things that you did you guys can write you know <laughs> small words and i'm just going to share with you guys my personal um examination of conscience boys and girls my examination of conscience is basically uh, me asking myself the relationships that i have with people right so do i uh, how do i behave with god right do am i always angry with him am i thankful for him uh how am i with my family members do i do i say talk back to my mom still do I talk back to my sister? 
How is my relationship with the community? Do I help them out? Do I, do I pretend to be a good person at church, but in reality, I'm a mean person at home, right? So though, that's, tar- that's part of my um, examination of conscience, boys and girls. And as you continue to do this um, sacrament, because the sacrament of reconciliation can be, um, it can be lived out as many times as you need it, you're going to figure out what your examination of conscience is going to look like. We always ask you to um, think about questions that uh, ref- go with, you know, how you how you treat others, how you treat yourself, and how you treat your family. But as you go to uh, this, sac- as you receive the sacrament, you're going to start realizing um, that there's other questions that you can probably ask yourself, right? So. As you guys um, are going to finish up your activity, I want you guys to think about this, okay? These are things to remember, okay? The Sacrament of Reconciliation allows us to fix our relationship with God, our community, and ourselves, okay? Always. We are always, when we go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation, we ask for forgiveness, we always fix these relationships, okay? Reconciliation is an important sacrament of healing, okay? We are able and should practice it as frequently. Do not be afraid to go talk to the priest, boys and girls. Do not be afraid. You should always be, um, you should always go talk to the priest when you're having questions, when you're insecure, when you know that you do something wrong and you just don't feel good um, with yourself, okay? And lastly is reconciliation is a time that we reflect with ourselves and take the opportunity to confess our sins to the priest, right? We have to be honest when we do our reflection, boys and girls. It's a self-evaluation of ourselves and how we behave with uh, with with um with our parents, with ourselves, and you know God sees everything, so He knows when we are bad, right? And one last thing is remember that when you guys go confess with the priest, the priest cannot tell your sins to anyone, no matter um how bad they are, they cannot tell the, your sins to anyone, not to your parents, not to your catechist, not to, um, not to anyone. That is between you, the priest, and God, okay? So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this session. I am so happy for you all that you are about to receive your Sacrament of Reconciliation and First Communion. Congratulations, boys and girls, and I wish you the best. <laughs>